We start with a length of Category 6 cable, some crimp on RJ45 connectors, and some cable boots for appearance. An all-in-one tool that crimps, cuts, and strips insulation is a must. You will also need a LAN tester to test your cable when it is complete. Begin by placing a cable boot on one end of our Category 6 cable. Now we will remove a little over one half an inch of insulation from the end of our cable. Next, untwist and separate the cable into individual strands of wire. The individual wires will now be arranged in a specific order before inserting them into the RJ45 connector. This chart shows the correct order of the wires for the RJ45 connector. Pin number one will be the wire on your left, moving in sequence to pin number eight on your right. With the wires in proper sequence, trim the end so that one half an inch is exposed. Take an RJ45 connector and with the locking tab facing down, insert the wires into the connector, making sure that the order of the wires does not change. With the wires fully seated, crimp the connector to complete the assembly. With this end finished, we turn our attention to the other end of the cable. We will repeat the process, but we will change the sequence of the wires. Here is the correct sequence for the second connector. Notice that the green and orange cables are reversed. Connect the completed cable into the tester and turn the tester on. On the master, the pins will light up in 1 through 8 sequence. On the remote, the sequence will not follow the 1 through 8 sequence. Here is the sequence you should see on the remote of your tester. If you get this sequence, your cable is ready to use.